Ladies and gentlemen, our last quarterfinal features a Suriname fighting phenom and a Netherlands giant killer, undefeated in two glory appearances. First to the glory ring at the age of 23. This man already has 41 professional fights on his young career. Please welcome Michael. Extremely busy man at only 23 years old, Michael Dute. 41 total professional fights. This guy is really a KO machine. Yeah, he really is. He's a very solid and aggressive fighter. He comes from Majiro Gym. Uh, he has KO power. Uh, he gets a little emotional before and after his fights, but he seems to be unafraid coming into this particular match. His opponent this evening became the first man to knock out legendary kickboxer Remy Bonyaski in his last glory appearance in London. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Tyrone Spall. There's the king of the ring. Tyrone Spawn dropping down as the number four ranked heavyweight to participate in this light heavyweight tournament. He said, I feel no pressure. I'm used to everybody gunning for me. It's just another night. Yeah, but he better not be too calm. His agenda usually is to be very aggressive, always pushing the pace. He throws everything with power, especially with low kicks, and that's a result of training with Lucian Carbine. And many times he very effectively switches uh, stances, so he's very unpredictable. It's our fourth quarterfinal fight. Tyrone Spawn and the youngster Michael Duke. And it's true that both these guys weigh in at 209 pounds, but huh, they both campa cam you know, campaign to heavyweight. But there's a, the number here is the experience. I mean, Tyrone Spawn has got a lot of those. But Michael Duke has earned the nickname the Dream Crusher by beating guys he wasn't supposed to beat. He, he's counting on that to happen again tonight. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner, this man coming off of a win in a grueling battle at Glory 7 Milan, began kickboxing at the age of 10. His record, 38 wins with just three losses. Standing 1.91 meters, six feet three inches tall. He weighed in at 93.9 kilos, 207 pounds. Here tonight representing the Netherlands, please welcome Michael, the dream crusher. His opponent tonight, one of the most sought after names in the fight world on a five fight win streak. His record truly impressive. 86 wins with just five losses, 57 wins by knockout. At 1.88 meters, six feet two inches tall, weighing in at fight time at 94.8 kilograms, 209 pounds. Representing Suriname, ladies and gentlemen, it's Tyrone, the king. The referee in charge of this bout, Mufadel El Ghazawi. Listen, guys, it's Bruno Rose. No elbow, no hard work, no holding. Okay, second, good luck. Okay, so bad. <laughs> Gotta love that face off. One more spot is open in the semifinals, and one of these men will oh, take it. Oh, it's just oh, like that. Oh. Michael Duke floors. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Big right hand by Duke. Duke said he has nothing to lose, and he's showing that right now. A couple of another shots get through from Duke. Oh, big shot from Tyrone oh. Spawn. Michael Dude is in big trouble here. His eyes are crossed. He just ate. Oh, no. This fight's over. He's not getting up. Oh. That shot that floored Tyrone Spunk might have 
just woken him up, and he delivers the crushing knockout blow. How you like him now? Well, the good wow. news is that Spawn got out of there early and is fresh to face Philippe Verlinden, who had a war against McKinnon. Without a doubt, all three of the quarterfinal fights went the distance. So cardio will be a key, but wow, Michael Duke said, did exactly what he told us he would, Stephen. He had nothing to lose. He was coming out firing. He lands the huge shot on Spawn. And what a retaliation by the veteran Tyrone Spong. He will always be remembered, the person that dropped Tyrone Spong in the first round, maybe the first 10 seconds of the first round. That will always be on his dossier. But you live by the sword against a guy like Spong, and you definitely go down by the sword. I'm guessing there were a couple of glory executives who held their breath there. In 31 seconds, Tyrone Spong gets the win, but if you take a look at that's Duke flooring spawn. Yeah, Duke is stepping right in with a short, crisp, straight right, right on the button. And realistically, that would have hurt a lot of guys and put them out of the, out of the fight. This is so on the button. Damn. It's right on. It's a perfect shot. And Duke really, really could have stormed in. And he did, but th then look what happens a couple seconds later. Comes in, got a little too wild, dropped his hands, and Whoop goes the dynamite. It's the right hand of Spawn. He arcs it a little bit, a little bit of an overhand, a little bit of a hook, and down goes Duke. 31 seconds into that first round. Watch that devastating blow from Tyrone Spawn, shocking up his 58 KO. Entered into the tournament as the favorite, but with a ton of pressure on him. Tyrone Spong delivers. Wow, fireworks here at the Hammerstein Ballroom. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an official time of 31 seconds into this bout. Your winner by knockout. Tyrone, he really came after you, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he came. He surprised me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, when, when you were down on your hands and knees, what was going through your mind? Um, nothing. Just get up. So it was a good shot, but your shot was just a little bit better, and, and now you're going to be facing Philippe Berlinden. What kind of problems do you think he's going to give you? I don't know. I'll, I'll see after. I don't worry about it right now. Well, congratulations. The pressure is off. You made it past the quarterfinals. He will face Philippe Berlinden. He is the king of the ring, Tyrone Spong. Tyrone Spong, one more look at the highlight reel knockout. Down goes Michael Dutz. Tried to get up, game effort, but just couldn't go on. Not many men could after being on the receiving end of a right from Tyrone Spawn. Well, the tournament semifinals are now set, Stephen. We take a look at the matchups. The number one.